Hey makers, this is Dhruvin and I welcome you all to Power Apps Model Driven Apps Step by Step series. You are watching the second episode of this series and in this session I am going to talk about which are the prerequisites that you need before you get started for model driven app. Here I am going to talk about different licensing model that is required for Power Apps model driven app as well as different type of tools that we are going to use throughout this entire session. Here the meaning of tool is of course we are going to develop everything into Power Apps online portal but which are the concepts that are primarily we are going to use we will be talking about that in detail over here. Also one more important announcement I launched my own Instagram page where I am uploading different short tips and tricks related power platform so if you wanted to be a part of my Instagram family do follow me on my Instagram the Instagram ID is available here or here or maybe in the description box so do check it out one more important thing as you are watching the second episode of this series and if you wanted to go through the other part of this series the link for the entire playlist as well as each individual video is available in the description box so always check the description box for the latest information or the extended part that i am going to develop with future development so let's get started and talk more about this thing in detail with me but before that here is an intro Before we get started with model driven app development process it is necessary to require and know about the different licensing and tools you required to get started with this process. So let's talk about that thing at high level. So basically to get started with power apps you need per app license or per user license. At this moment with per app license you can build two power apps in one portal app. While in case of per user licenses, you can build unlimited power apps. Also with this, you should also know about the Dataverse capacity. So with per app license, it is providing 50 MB of database capacity and 400 MB file capacity. In case of per user, it is providing 250 MB database capacity and 2 gigs of file capacity. And of course, in future, you can expand your dataverse capacity based on your business requirement. One more important thing, for development process, you do not need to purchase any licensing. You can simply go with the community plan and explore the model driven app with me. But of course, when you commercially use your power apps, then you need to go with appropriate license. Also, most of the time for the organization when we are choosing the licensing when we have lots of question in our mind. So for that you can generate the Microsoft support ticket and the Microsoft folk will help you in detail for which licensing is based for your organization. So choose your licensing wisely before you apply for your organization. Right. So let's not more focus on the licensing here and let's talk about which are the different products we are going to use throughout this entire session journey so basically to get started you need any active power apps license even if you go with the community license uh, you will get the active power apps license so do not worry about that when you have the active power apps license of course you have some sort of data verse capacity be provided so make sure that you have enough space to create your data verse tables and you need active power automate license to prepare business process flow business process flow is known as bpf as well so mostly in model driven app when we wanted to define different processes step by step at the time we are going to build business process flow we will talk more about business process flow in my upcoming sessions so hope so far you are good with me if you have any question feel free to add your question or suggestion in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel Make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. I am uploading regular content on Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agents, Teams and SharePoint on my channel. So make sure that you hit subscribe to never miss any updates 
from my channel. If you are looking for any consultancy or training, here is the website. Click on that. It will redirecting you to this website. Go to the contact page and send me your query over there. If you want to follow me on my different social media handles, here is a link to URL. Click on that. It will redirecting you to this page. From here, you can follow me on my different social media handles like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and much more. To never miss any updates from my different social media handles, I recommend everyone to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. And I recommend everyone to follow me on Instagram just because I am uploading different posts, reels and IGTV on Instagram. So the Insta learning is about to happen using my account. So just search for Power Platform Guy into search box of your Instagram and you are good to follow me. Also during the weekend, I am performing different engaging activities on Instagram. So never miss Instagram learning from me. If you are interested for different audio podcasts related power platform, here is the podcast channel. Click on that. It will redirecting you to this page. Over here, you can listen your favorite power platform podcast on different podcast platform like Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Spotify and much more. If you are interested for different short videos related power platform, here is a separate channel called Digital Throwing. Subscribe that channel and show your love over here as well. This is Thruvin signing off. See you in the next session. Have a great day. Goodbye.